What's up, what's up? Real MVPs, Ricky Widmer here, and welcome into the first one. We are back, and this is a sport I have wanted to touch for a long time. We probably haven't gotten a solo college football video on the channel since Brandon sadly walked away from the primetime podcast, but there was a comment recently that was like, oh, where's the college football talk? It's coming. It's coming. I we I have been planning to do different things at the college football season. This is one of them. We just had to wait for the time. And this is my college football rankings for the college football playoff. And what I'm going to do each and every Monday, I will release a video. It will premiere like it is right now. And I will give you my playoff rankings. I will do exactly what the committee will do. I will give you the six teams. I will actually tell you why I put them in these spots. Unlike the committee, I would like a little bit more transparency there. Um, But yeah, we're going to go through the top six. I'm actually going to have a full 25. What's going to happen each and every week. This is how it's going to work. The video will air time right now in this video. I'm still debating on Monday evening when I want it to post, but it'll be the same time every Monday video happens. Once the video happens, I will have a tweet with the video with the rest of my ranking. So each and every week we will have the video with my top six. Then if you go to Twitter after the video is over, so after this video concludes, go to my Twitter at Ricky Widmer. I will have a tweet with my full 25. I know that it's really the top six that matter, but for those of you who want to see the full 25, what I have, what I'm going to be working with uh, going from week to week, you can check that out on Twitter. Before I do get into everything, though, a little bit of housekeeping. Make sure to join that Discord. If you're not in it already, we're talking sports and especially college football in there each and every day. We have a distinct channel for each thing. We got a draft channel for the NFL. We got college football. So we've got all of these sports uh, also in there. So you can join that, have a great conversation with the MVP nation. Also, if you want to support us, patreon.com backslash MVP vids or become a channel member today. Both of those links can be found down below. And last but not least to keep informed and keep up to date what we're doing with MVP. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well. But without further ado, let's get into it. How I'm going to do this is I'm just going to release the rankings, kind of like how the college football playoff committee show will be where I'll show a graphic. It'll be up momentarily. I'll give you my sixth team. I'll talk about it. I'll give you the fifth. I'll talk about it. The fourth, the third, the second, the first, and kind of talk about each team as I unveil what my rankings will be. So without further ado, let's get into it. Put the graphic up. Number six. This one took a little bit of debate from me of which of the three teams I wanted to put here, but I settled with the Oklahoma Sooners. And The reason why I put the Sooners here were the three teams I were debating. So this is basically six, seven, and eight in my rankings are these three teams. Um, First off, Michigan. If Michigan would have beat Michigan State, they would have been in the um, the college playoff rankings. But they had just lost to Michigan State. It was a Michigan State won the game by forcing the turnover. But Michigan also lost it. Like, it's both of those where it's like, they won, but you lost. So, like, out of the three, Michigan to me, I was like, okay, I'm going to put them the lowest at number eight. The the two that really was the debate here was Oregon and Oklahoma State. Because you, you have Oklahoma. The reason why I settled on Oklahoma is they're undefeated. Really, that's the only reason, is that they're undefeated and the Oregon Ducks have one loss because you look at the quality losses, you know, Oklahoma has none because they haven't lost. Oregon has one loss. And like, if you want to count Stanford as a quality loss, I do not because they're three and six. They're sixth in the Pac-12 North. That's not really looking like a quality loss. And I mean, the only thing that's really saving Oregon from being ranked lower than Michigan right now is that win against Ohio State because 
that's where Oregon gets saved out a little bit is the quality win category where Oklahoma, you look at their quality wins and it's like Texas. That's it. A Texas team that you probably should have lost to, but yes, you came back and won. Got to give you credit for that. Kansas should have been a blowout. Like Kansas and TCU played you tough. Really Kansas played you the toughest to where that's why I was like, maybe Oregon, but I couldn't, I couldn't keep a undefeated team out of the rankings, out of the top six, basically. So that's why Oklahoma is in the top six over like an Oregon or a Michigan at number five undefeated team. They have had to me one, like you could say one, maybe two quality wins. Some Oklahoma fans might be upset that this team is so high or is higher up than them. It's the Michigan Spartans where the two quality wins I say is Michigan for sure. Beating a top six team that close winning the game like they did. Like they won the game. They won the game. And that's all you can give them credit for, for winning that game. Now the Miami game on the road. Yes, it's a quality road win. However, Miami was ranked 24. They are now four and four. They do not look like the team that they were when Michigan state beat them. So Kind of a little bit of a toss up, but going on and winning on the road like they did 38 to 17, you got to give them credit for that. So, Michigan State to me, this is more of also a all right, I'm putting you in, but you're going to have to prove it because I think at Purdue could be a trap game. I think Maryland, that they handle Maryland pretty easily at home. It's the big questions of if they go 0 2, if they get past Purdue and they beat. Maryland. All right. You're playing Ohio state. You're playing Penn state. Like that's your playoff life. The Michigan state Spartans know what they have to do. They have to win out in order to make it to the college football playoff and a date with Ohio state will happen on November 20th. That game will be at the horseshoe in Columbus. So, I mean, yeah, this is more of like, okay, you're in the top six, but you know what you need to do in order to climb up and make the playoff. You got to win out. You got to win out. There's no like, oh, if we lose this, no, you win out, you are in. At number four, this always happens. They sneak in, even if they lose a game, roll tide, the Alabama Crimson Tide, where yes, I know they have that loss to Texas A&M, but since then, 49-9, to win over Mississippi State, then they went at home 52 to 24. They had the bye week this past week. This is an Alabama team that is good. I know that you could say Florida, no longer that 11th ranked team that they played in Gainesville. Uh, Old Miss has been a good team. Old Miss has been saying, staying right around where they were ranked when the uh, Crimson Tide beat them 42 to 21. So for me, I look at it and I go, this is a team that, yes, they lost. And I know that. Oklahoma and Mississippi State are going to be, are not Mississippi State, Michigan State, are going to be like, really, bruh? Really? We're undefeated and you're going to put Alabama above us? Yeah, I am because of quality wins. <laughs> Oklahoma really has zero because Texas is not back. They're not a quality win. You have one, Miss Sparty. You have one. Uh, you look at Alabama, they have Old Miss. Old Miss is, to me, about the same as. Uh, Michigan maybe now might be ranked a little bit higher because you beat them. But I mean, Alabama is a team where they just demolished. Like they came out and demolished their opponent the next week on the road after losing that game. They're probably a team that's going to make the SEC championship, lose to Georgia by three points, and somehow be the fourth best team in the college football playoff. Then two and three. Two and three kind of go hand in hand. Um, Number three is Cincinnati. I wanted to put the uh, Bearcats at number two, but there was a reason I kept them at three. And the reason why I pushed them to three is, yes, they're an undefeated team, but really their only quality win is Notre Dame. And Notre Dame, I will say, has kept around where they were when they played the Bearcats. That's good for the Bearcats. It kind of boosts their resume. Indiana on the road, I'll put it in the quality win, but it's not a huge quality win. But then also, like, you just survive against Navy. 31-12 to against Tulane was better on the road, but Tulane's not a good team. 
Cincinnati has to win. Like they're another team like Michigan State. They have to win out. They have to win out and they have to win that SMU game convincingly. They have to win that convincingly. They have to win out. And then there'll be a discussion of, okay, they should maybe be in the college football playoff. But right now, sitting at number three in my rankings is a good position to be in. Then at number two, this is a team, some may say Bearcats over this team. Some may say this team lower because they have a loss. The Ohio State Buckeyes. And the reason why I have them at two is because I know they have a loss to Oregon. Still a quality loss. Um, because Oregon is basically, what, it's seven in my college football playoff rankings. But, like, you look at, it's kind of like the Alabama treatment. You look at the Buckeyes since they played Oregon. Demolished Tulsa, demolished Akron. I know what you're saying. Hey, Ricky, those aren't tough opponents. Demolished Rutgers, demolished Maryland, demolished Indiana, and then beat Penn State. Like, Penn State was a quality win. I know some people may say that the Big Ten isn't as good as other conferences, so that's why they're demolishing Rutgers, Maryland, and Indiana. But this is also a team that answers will come later in the year. Yes, they beat Penn State. They should be able to beat Nebraska. I think they will beat Purdue at the Horseshoe in Columbus. And then it comes down, it, it basically comes down to their last two. If they stay at, if they're 9-1 and one entering the, the Michigan State game, all they have to do is take care of business. Bing, bing, Michigan, Michigan State, vice versa. They play Michigan State first, then go to the big house where they own Jim Harbaugh. So that shouldn't even be an answer of like, will they lose that game? They win out there in. So like, yet again, most of these teams right now win, control your destiny, which teams are going to jump in if one of these teams loses. And then number one, I don't think there's any question in anyone's mind. uh, It's the Georgia Bulldogs. This team, I have a feeling they are going to be the national champion at the end of the year. This defense is for real. Uh, The most points they ever gave up was 13. And that was to Kentucky and South Carolina. Two teams, one is very much better than the other. Uh, Auburn only scored 10 on them. Arkansas didn't score a single point on them. Florida only put seven on them. Like, this is a team, Clemson, their offense is bad, but uh, they only put three on them. This team is one where the defense is going to win them the game. Can the offense do enough to basically win? I, I think that, to me, a very interesting matchup that I would love to see. Of course, Georgia, all, uh, Georgia, Georgia, Alabama is going to be amazing if we get that in the SEC title game. But I would love to see Georgia, Ohio State. Like that is a national championship, or even a playoff matchup. If Ohio State's like four and Georgia is number one, like I would love to see that in the playoff. Just, just give me that matchup, that high power offense of Ohio State against that defense of Georgia. I would probably pick Georgia to win that game, honestly. But yeah, that is my top six. Put up the graphic one more time. You've got Georgia at number one, Ohio State at number two, Cincy at number three, Bama at four, Michigan State at five, Oklahoma is at number six. Like I said, after this video ends, there will be a tweet up on my Twitter at Ricky Widmer where you can go and see my Rest of my rankings, 7 through 25, will be up there with a tweet to this video. And then in the kind of reply, it'll be a thread. It'll be a thread on Twitter. Just go to my Twitter. You'll find it. Rest of my rankings will be there. Let me know what you guys think down below about my rankings, where you have some teams. What do you think the committee will do on Tuesday? Uh, Let me know all that down below. Remember, join the Discord if you're not in it already. Make sure to, if you want to support us, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com backslash MVP vids or become a channel member today. And last but not least, hit that sub button, that notification bell, so you keep in tune to what's going on with MVP all year long. I want to thank you guys for being as great as you always are. And as always, have a good day, everybody.